Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, and today I'm gonna show you how to make roasted butternut squash. It's healthy and delicious, and it's only four ingredients. And by the way, if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you get subscribed. Here is what you need. First, we're gonna start off with some fresh ground black pepper. We're gonna need some high heat cooking oil. And we're gonna need some salt. And last but not least, you're gonna need one butternut squash. You wanna look for one that's gold in color and matte texture. Now, before we get started, you wanna make sure to wash your squash using some soap and some warm water because there's a lot of bacteria on the outside from when people were touching it at the grocery store. First, we're gonna start by cutting off each end. You wanna make sure you have a really sharp knife and we're gonna use this rocking motion because butternut squash are really hard to cut through and makes it a lot easier. Trust me, try it. Now we're gonna cut it in half at the neck. This is gonna make it a lot easier for peeling. And then we're gonna start to peel the outer skins completely off. You wanna make sure you peel until you see that nice golden color. By the way, all the links in the description box below are from the tools I use. If you wanted to start a compost and use these peels to add to your compost, I have a compost in the description as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut each of these two sections in half because that's gonna make it easier for us to cut it into cubes. That gives us a nice flat surface so it doesn't roll around. Be sure to keep your fingers out of the way. And now you're gonna see there are some seeds inside. We're gonna be taking those seeds out. They're pretty easy to take out. I'm just gonna get a small spoon that I have good control over and they scoop right out. I'm gonna say mine in a bowl because they taste really good toasted with a little salt, just like pumpkin seeds. And now we're gonna start to cut our squash. You're gonna wanna cut them into a half inch to an inch size slices. And then from there, just follow as I'm doing and you'll have perfect cubes. Try to keep them consistent in size so that they all bake evenly and we're gonna throw them all into a bowl. This is what you wanna go for. Here comes my husband to thank me for making his favorite butternut squash. <laughs> now we're almost done. Before we place these in the oven, we're gonna to toss them in some oil, salt, and pepper. You wanna make sure they're evenly seasoned and coated, and we're just gonna to toss them with a spatula or a spoon. These are really gonna help to bring out the natural sweet flavors of the butternut squash. And now it's time to prepare them to get roasted. So we're gonna take out a baking pan and we're gonna place all of our butternut squash on the pan. I like to use aluminum foil to line it because it helps with an easier cleanup. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread them out so they're not laying on top of each other. Pop them in the oven for 30 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you have it guys, roasted butternut squash. I hope you get to make this recipe. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to comment down below and let me know. Like this video and subscribe to my channel and enjoy your meal. Mm -hmm.